this is part two of manufacturing my fully functional engine and i've got the engine block right here which is um super complicated at the moment and kind of unnecessary but i'll work on simplify that a bit later on i've got the piston assembly these and everything but the only thing i need to work on now is um getting a crankshaft so i've got some components from the crankshaft um over here and this is my initial model for the crankshaft i've got all of these components printed out but i will get into that a little bit later on okay so i've got the engine block um all of the pistons are in place i decided to opt for a shorter stroke pattern um so that it can just fit within the body of the engine block that i've got um i've got some super glue as well so i can actually glue down these sections here currently working on the crankshaft and um this part only needed reprinting because it was a little bit too shallow so it didn't go into place so i've got that on the print bed right now and it's going to take 28 minutes the rest of the parts was fine So I've got the crankshaft right here and I'm trying to assemble it right now. There's one part that isn't going in, which is here and it goes on the end. That just needs to be a bit longer. The only problem is when I try to turn it, it doesn't turn all the way, but you can see a tiny bit of piston movement. I can't use it with the one hand right now. Okay, so I've got every cylinder in place. As you can see, there's a step for each one. That one is supposed to go a little bit higher, but I've only kept it in there temporarily. Um, if I was to twist that, it would cause each of the pistons to go up at a different rate. Um, and you can see the whole mechanism, and it's coming along really nicely so far. And this crankshaft isn't too difficult to actually manufacture. It's not a problem at all. The only problem that I'm not really happy with is this. That needs to look a lot better and it needs to be centered or something because that is really off and it's really annoying. Me. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it like this until I show Sir tomorrow and then um, I can get some magnets for the case so that the crank case can go on into place. Okay, so I've got this model crankshaft right here. It's got four different components and it's got um, different heights. So it's got first step, second step, third step, fourth step, and then it's got the back part. I don't think this is going to work at all. I just want to try and make like a completely separate model of a crankshaft just without using a model just to see how it's going to work fully. So um, I'm going to separate each of these components and then as this is printing, I'm going to do full research to see how it's going to print, but I just want to see first off um so i have rough dimensions that i'm going to use for my actual model but i'm going to get this component and i'm going to send that to the printer okay now i'm just going to export them all and get ready to print them okay so i just got the crankshaft working however um it works but it's just because i'm using one hand right now but after turning it quite a few times the whole all the pistons lower and then it's just free to move around which isn't very good also that needs a tiny bit of adjusting i made it longer just because it was too short and it was annoying me so i added too much length purposefully so i will just reduce that a bit later on um also this case my friend has some magnets that i could use and for the real one, I'm going to have a kilogram pulling force magnet each and it just snaps into place. So you can see the full crankshaft action and you can still take it apart and see how the engine works fully. So I've got this right here and as I turn it, you can see the pistons move, but then it drops. And that's where the issue is because then i have to open it up physically push the pistons down and then it works again 
which is an issue that I am not sure how to fix at all. So after doing a lot of research as to how crankshafts actually work, I decided to get um, a version 2 model of the crankshaft. And this is more true to life, but with modifications for ease of manufacturing. So what I had was, say, a simple shape. That would be the furthermost right component. Um, that would stick out to the end. That is where the piston ring will sit and that's where it connects to the second one and then i would have one slightly different shape so that would slot into there and then it would go into that point over there which would connect to the third one and so on so i've got a full assembled model right here for the crank crankshaft let me open that up and this is what it looks like when it's fully assembled so it's got some slots the lowest one and the other one and the middle two turns out that there's a specific order for them to fire in and it is this one and that one and then that one and that one and they raise and lower at the same time well according to the height and then they actually just spark at different times so it goes one and four and uh, one and two and then three and four something like that so after that is fully assembled i've got an analysis as well so you can see the middle i've got these components there that slot into each other with a tiny bit of tolerance on each one also i realized that for the other one that the reason why i was dropping down a lot was because um the whole crankshaft on the right was opened up so it had nothing to support on so it only made sense that i was going to drop um also after that I also redesigned the engine slightly because it was way too unnecessarily complicated so it just had a bunch of stuff that was interfering with each other so I have an engine block v6 and this is a way more simplified model firstly it didn't have that massive cutout at the end it just had like this now um, uh, semicircle and at the bottom instead of all that super complicated unnecessary stuff it's just like cut out like that and it also has slots for the magnets but i made it even so three on each side and then i've got the crank case which is this part over here and same principle just a semicircle there and on each side that has enough space for the crankshaft and then if i go to the full assembly for the crankshaft i'm pretty sure i've got bodies hidden on here no i don't so i'm just going to print off all of these components i'm going to reprint the cylinders the piston heads and everything reduce the tolerance by 0.2 so that it slides up and down way easier and then i can see how it's manufactured fully but um this model should work significantly better On here I've got all of these um, components of the crankshaft um, and the engine block and then I've got the crankshaft full assembly which was me making sure everything was put in the right order and that's the side profile of it and it is working fully I've also got my piston assembly here um, these all work uh, like I said I've glued it in place with super glue and um, it's ready to go in once the crankcase is finished printing and then I can get ready to get quotes for the metal and then I can start machining it after I've refined some details like I want to put some engravings I want to make sure the Denford is working or the CNC machines so I can make it look like better aesthetically and all of that stuff but it is working so far okay so now I've got the engine block and the bottom half of this um, printed out and uh, if I turn the crankshaft let me see if I turn the crankshaft it all it moves the pistons perfectly and then um, it's also got the removable bottom where the magnets snap into place and then that's the full model for the crankshaft so far so now I just need to think of ways to make it look more realistic while making it still easy to print.
this seems a little bit too simplified so what i need to do is create um a few more details for the actual engine to make it look um more realistic rather than a super super simplified model it's only looking like that because of the distortion from the screen so i've got all of these components here for the crankshaft the crankcase the components from the crankshaft and then the top half of the engine block which is right there but that's going to be in the next part where I start adding details to the engine block while it's still able to be manufactured.